Break out the scented candles and apple cider fall is a feast for the senses. We're here this morning with Cheryl Najafi, author of the New York Times best-selling book. You're so invited. Uh, good to see you, Cheryl. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me here today. You always have great ideas, and these are going to be perfect for if you're hosting Thanksgiving or you want to bring a great gift, a hostess gift, but these are some clever ideas that seem pretty easy, too. They're easy and inexpensive. Really, really fun to do. Yeah. And it doesn't take a lot of time. Love that. So what have we done here is we've used just a bundle of wheat from, mm -hmm. you know, Michael's and used classic grit dye to change the colors. I wondered that because I hadn't seen maybe, you know, this greenish shade or the pinky shade, mm -hmm. oh, but that's beautiful. So you just follow the directions and then okay. what we did is we used a piece of cardstock and wrapped it around the vase yeah. so that now we can take it off and it doesn't ruin your vase for next time. And then you can change it out seasonally, maybe candy canes or some gumdrops or something fun like that. And then you put the candle, you got one of the LED ones, you stick it in there and it glows. That's right. Beautiful. It's a really pretty centerpiece. Easy and unexpected. Everybody's got some extra apples lying around this time of year. You carved it out and stuck a little votive in. Isn't that fun? So it's just really easy. You use the tea light mm -hmm. as your um, kind of your gauge and then you cut around it and then pop it out of the aluminum and stick it right in. That and is it's a really simple idea. adding a little bit of twine around the edge and this is the absolute must-have what is this blue dots oh. and so you just peel them off the plastic and put them right there and then your, your twine will stay nice and tight that's a great tip I didn't know about glue dots no and this is the most fun easy easy way to have fun with the kids and um, create these little acorns this is a great way yes to get the kids can we see what they there look little acorns and we're going to show okay, you how to make so, it so just dip your um toothpick in the melting chocolate it's kind of like a Turn little mini there you go. Um, little mini wafer yep and so it's a mini nella wafer mm -hmm. you just put it on there and now you're going to add hershey kiss your hershey kiss and then add with your toothpick a little um stem at the top Easy. Look at that. There it you a go. Few seconds, and you've got. And yourself. you've got your acorn. Oh, Wonderful. Really <laughs> and they're right. some, they're they're free because they're mm. bite size, right? Oh, I've no really calories yummy. at all. Okay. Also, what makes a great little container? Uh -huh. Gourds, squash. They're That's everywhere right. at the supermarket. So I'm going to tell you a little bit of tips. So okay. what you want to do is because excuse me here, it's because your gourds will have this little nubby thing on the bottom. So you chop it off. Chop it off right there. And if there's a little hole in the bottom, like you can see, it's not very deep. Just put a little piece of wax paper at the bottom. You mm -hmm. don't have to chuck this, chuck this pumpkin, chuck mm -hmm. this squash. And then you know, add your hummuses or your spinach dip and it is a showstopper. It is. We've run out of time, but the same idea goes for the ice bucket here for your Perrier, for your bottle of wine, carve out a little pumpkin. And make sure you add a little tag to tell what it is. And you've got an ice bucket. Great idea, Cheryl. Thank we want to tell you. Her book is You're So Invited, wherever books are sold. And you can also go to CherylStyle.com or KTLA.com, too, for, you know, how to do these ideas. But they are easy and great. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much, nice Cheryl. Good to, to see, see you. you. We'll be right back. Those are delicious little bites. <laughs>